Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa. And in today's vlog, I don't know, this is kind of spontaneous and random, but I'm just gonna go through today. It is my birthday. I'm gonna start off this video by kind of doing a little bit of a reflection of kind of last year. This was sort of inspired by one of my latest TikToks. Basically, I was kind of talking about how I got out of a toxic relationship. You guys might have already seen that from some of my previous vlogs or like heard of it on the podcast. A lot of people kind of like asked how I got here today. So I was like, oh my God, what a great time to kind of share this because today I turned 27 years old. Oh my God, it's so old. Okay, it's not actually that old. I think it's old in my ex young person's mind because I remember when I was like, 15, I was like 22 years old is so old. And then now that I'm actually like 27 today, I'm just thinking like, man, I would kill to be 22 years old again because mentally I think I'm still 22 years old, but whatever. I'm just gonna do a little bit of reflection. And then for the rest of the video, I'm gonna kind of like take you guys along to see what we are doing today. So yes, I still have my Invisaligns on and I'm gonna keep them on hopefully for the rest of the day besides in the video. Okay, so I'm gonna do kind of just like a get ready with me a little bit first and kind of do a reflection. Basically, like I said, I am turning 27 and I feel like there's been a few things that have really changed in the last few years of my 20s. Starting with, I guess, like this whole concept of getting married. It was really interesting because someone on my Instagram during one of my Q and A's asked me if I felt pressured getting married before 30. And and basically, if you had asked me this a year ago, I would have said yes. It would have made me anxious because I kind of knew I was in the wrong relationship. And it made me just more and more anxious because I really wanted to get married before 30. And I also knew I was with the wrong person. I was like trying to figure it out. I kind of knew I was with the wrong person. So I was just trying to kind of navigate through that. And I felt the pressure on me. After I got out of that relationship, I just became so, so, so much happier. I think I became who I usually am as like a regular person. In. I just started feeling myself again. I'm just naturally like a happy optimistic person I think that relationship just really really drained me. So basically After that relationship my whole concept of getting married before 30 has absolutely changed because I think after spending four years in a Relationship, especially one that is not right for you It made me realize the importance of really finding the right person and I'm not here saying like finding your soulmate Because I don't know if I believe in that stuff anymore but at least finding the right person. So basically, am I in a rush? Not really, because I feel like realizing and having that experience of like living with somebody, I kind of realized that you're gonna spend every single freaking day with them and you better really love them or else I'm willing to delay this as long as possible. Because if you guys think about it, if you stay married for 30 years, okay, that's like not even that long. People who stay married for 50 years, it's like pretty, pretty long. If you stay married for 30 years, I'm not even 30 yet, and you have to see them every single freaking day, I'm just like, I need to make sure I find someone that I'm willing to do that with because if it's not, it just doesn't seem very worth it. I've really, really enjoyed these past few months of just being completely alone, spending so much quality time with my friends, family, and just really growing myself as a person, going to therapy, growing my business and stuff like that. And I've just been so happy. I wake up every day just going like, what does Lisa want to do today? Because guys, once again, I've lived with someone before. I just remember even such simple things like, oh my God, I'm hungry. It's not just you. You have to ask, oh, are you also hungry? Should we get food? Should we buy food? Should we make food? And it becomes this whole ordeal. And like also because I was living with a dude, depending on who your significant other is, this guy like eats a lot, right? So it's like, you can't just make something small and simple. No, 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 because it's gonna be rude if you just like make it for yourself. Think of the other person, then it becomes this whole meal. I think this is also why in that relationship I was like heavier than I am now because I think I was just like always eating what also he was eating or what I was making for him. That's not bad, I'm just saying like now that I've been single, I just remember one of the earliest enjoyments that I had was I woke up and I was just like, I'm not that hungry. And I'm like, I'm just gonna make one egg. And I made one egg and I was like, I didn't have to ask anybody. I didn't have to get anyone's opinion. I got to literally make this one egg and move on with my day. I can leave the house as messy as I wanted to, as clean as I wanted to. It was just these early like enjoyments that kind of made me go like, okay, like this ain't half bad. 
even dinner. I'm like, I'm not hungry. I'm not gonna eat. So I did it. It's just all this newfound freedom that I felt like I had. Once again, if you're with the right person, all of these things really seem like an afterthought. So this is maybe more of like a PSA. Just like how in my TikTok video, I was saying that if you guys are in a wrong relationship, this is your sign to get out because I'm so happy. I'm like sure you can be too, even if you were like me and you were really, really scared, stuff like that. So anyway, that being said, I feel like I kind of dwelt on that a little bit too long. Basically what I wanted to say is coming out of my 26 years old life and going into my 27th year, I think the first thing that kind of made me realize was, wow, this time last year, I was fucking depressed. Like I was so sad. I felt like nothing was going right. I really hated so many aspects of my life. At the time, my friendships with people, they were good, but they weren't like as strong as they are today. My relationship with my family was also the same. It was good, just not that strong. You know, I was like struggling at work. I felt like I wasn't in the right relationship. Ultimately, it's just like astounding to me how this year going into 27 like so many of these things have changed like I feel so much better as a person about myself about like all these different aspects of my life all I'm trying to say is that this is like not an impossible journey this is also not supposed to be a motivational talk well maybe it is I don't know I guess what I'm trying to say is like if you're watching this and you kind of resonate with any of these things whether you're depressed you're also not happy with a certain aspect of your life I think what is so great is that these are all things that you can change I haven't really shared this with anyone publicly except my friends I think the one thing that kickstarted this whole thing was like I remember one time I was literally so upset and I was like crying myself to sleep and I just remember imagining if I had the power to like write this fictional book about Lisa what would Lisa do or look like and then I was like Lisa would absolutely be in love super confident about her relationship loves her job loves what she does is very close with her family very close with her friends all of these things and then afterwards I thought about it and I was like hold on I can do these like I'm not asking to fly I was like wait I can actually do all of these things so then literally the next day I broke up with my boyfriend after realizing I'm like hold on this is like all within my power I'm not asking for like something scientifically impossible it just kind of kickstarted this journey I just wanted to say the people on TikTok who are asking you know like how did you get here how did you whatever number one I was reading this thing it's like matching your energy vibrations you need to match your energies so that you can attract all of these things and if you don't believe in like law of attraction or manifestation i'm like starting to really believe in that stuff now and i'm also a lot more spiritual this year going into my 27th year i just feel like you can attract all of these things and it is all within your power but you need to first surround yourself with positive people and you're gonna learn through the podcast some of my conversations with Teresa on the podcast i think it makes me come across kind of aggressive because i very blatantly tell people if this friend isn't a good friend i don't try to like work it out that much i just kind of like cut them off not because i'm saying you should cut off everyone who wrongs you i'm saying if you realize that it's not a mistake and it's a character issue and it's not something that can be fixable 99 percent of the time i choose to cut them off completely and not even talk to them and i've actually in the last year cut off some really really ex prominent people in my life people who i had lived with people that i've been friends with since i was in like grade five people who i used to spend like family dinners with and Thanksgiving with these are not just acquaintances I've chosen to cut them off because for me it's like they're taking away energy from me that they don't deserve I have so many really really great friends right now that I would rather spend way more time with them imagine just thinking like you can only have one lunch on a Saturday why would you spend it on someone who makes you anxious or like doesn't make you feel good about yourself talking behind your back or like whatever why would you spend that one lunch you have that one Saturday with that person and not spend it with someone that actually loves you and like cares about you so I think it sort of became very like prominent to me and once I started cutting these people off and literally not spending any of these energies on them I started to spend more of my own energies and this also included my ex by the way so then I started spending more of my own energies on my own business on what I wanted to do on the podcast and it's just like I'm so 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 much happier now once again I think this year I have so many more goals and dreams for this year which I'm not gonna yet share with you and it's not because I don't want to share with you it's not because I want to be one of those people that are like, I have to tell you something, but I can't say it. One of those annoying people, like I don't want to be like that. It's just genuinely because last year I started telling people what I was planning to do and then I jinxed myself and then the pandemic hit and then it literally changed all of my plans and I literally had to tell people, never mind, just kidding, like I'm not doing that anymore. So I've just learned now to just keep my mouth shut until after everything is done, then I'm like, yes, I did that because I don't want to jinx myself anymore.
and you guys are all very familiar with Lisa Luck, I'm sure. Another example, Vancouver's last lockdown was like a year ago. And of course, the week of my birthday, literally all restaurants now are closed and they haven't been closed since like a year ago. And I'm like, of course it's the week of my birthday because hashtag Lisa Luck. But it's okay, I'm like kind of jokingly saying this because I am very, very, very grateful because number one, this is the first year in like nine years that I'm spending my birthday in Vancouver and spending it with my family. So like, I'm already so grateful. The other thing that I'm grateful is that even though it's raining and that sucks, at least it's not snowing, okay? Because ever since I moved to Ontario, every single birthday of mine has been snowing. So you know what? I'm actually feeling very, very grateful despite what's going on. And I still obviously think like Lisa Luck is true to an extent, but it doesn't actually bothered me that much I've like kind of learned to just laugh it off but that's kind of where I am today and I'm so excited to share with you what we're doing today I think Teresa is coming over with some lunch we were originally gonna go out but our reservation was in a patio since restaurants are closed and I think we're gonna get rained on so we're just gonna do takeout I'll kind of take you along for the rest of the day you guys are gonna learn that for my birthday I actually like it to be extremely 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 chill I don't like anything big I did one big birthday birthday party one year in my life. You guys can see it if you look back at my 25th birthday at my other vlog. I'm never doing that again. That was so stressful for me and it was just like not that fun for me. I couldn't spend all my time like with my friends that I wanted to. I did not enjoy that at all. I'm not doing that again. Also, this is another reason why I don't think I'm gonna have a big wedding because I didn't even enjoy my own birthday party. Like what would make me enjoy a wedding that's humongous? But anyway, that being said, I'm excited to take you guys around and we'll see you soon. So I'm done my makeup and so far we have not done anything exciting. I've just kind of cleaned my room. I washed the entire bathroom. I know I'm doing this on my birthday, but honestly, I really don't mind. I don't know, I guess like doing normal things. I feel like I don't see my birthday as this huge, ah, like whatever type thing. But anyway, I've gotten a few packages from my friends. I got some flowers from Kelly and they're so beautiful. They're from this brand that delivers flowers, I guess. And then also I got some pastries from my roommates from Western. So thank you guys so much, Michelle, Marga, and Liz. So if you guys don't know our friendship, we actually all used to live together and we even have this like Instagram page called Virgins for Life. It's a long story, but anyway. We used to live together and we are now doing like this long distance friendship because Marga and Michelle actually both live in San Francisco and me and Liz live back in Canada, but Liz is in Ontario right now while I'm here. So anyway, let me show you the flowers Kelly got. They're so nice and it's from this brand. I got a huge box of almond croissants from my Caudalie family. So if you guys don't know Caudalie, Caudalie is that skincare brand that I'm always raving about and I always use their product. They saw that I was always going around Vancouver searching for their almond croissants so they got me these they also sent over some macarons and i'm just gonna show you right now there's also some macarons they actually have one of the best macarons in the world as well and i'm very excited to try and this is the little cake that my roommates got me but it kind of fell over upon delivery, but that's okay. Sure, it's so good. I'm so excited. I broke my nail and I had to glue it back together. That literally just happened. So there we go. That's what's happening so far. Teresa just got here. She brought some lunch and these beautiful flowers. Oh my God, I'm so Happy excited. Birthday. Yay! Yay! Okay, I don't know what we're doing the rest of the day, but we're just gonna have some lunch. We have a lot of dessert that we're oh gonna eat. My. A little sushi takeout. Oh yeah, and Teresa went all the way to Miku, oh my God, to get sushi. Oh, so bougie. <laughs> Love it. So we just finished lunch at my place and <laughs> Teresa brought like such a lit meal. So she went to sushi. Miku, I know, and sushi. So now we are gonna take some pictures at this cherry blossom place this and it's cherry lit. blossom porn. Cherry blossom oh porn, God. I'm dead. Look at this, oh, oh my God. God. This is insane. This is the best spot for cherry blossoms. Are you joking me? Look at this. Oh my God, what the heck? Okay guys, I'm actually dying because me and Teresa are literally freaking out over these freaking <laughs> so cherry cool. blossoms. She's like, oh my God, this is porn. And I'm literally like, they're so fluffy. Like, they're so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Guys, look at how oh fluffy God. these freaking cherry blossoms are. They're like fat and plump. There's literally these like people that are staring at us going like, okay. We're like, guys, are you not seeing how fluffy and plump these cherry blossoms are? We are at our second location Yay! of the day. Yeah, we're 
going to Moon and Bath, which is this beautiful gallery with all these light installations. Yeah, Teresa found it and I'm so excited. So this Yay. is what it looks like. We also did a little quick little outfit change for our photos. <laughs> We're extra. We're freaking extra. Is this the first room? Oh it's so, so beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Us freaking oh. out again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. god. This is the second room. Oh my god, this is really nice. Damn. Oh my gosh. This is so trippy. I love it. Oh my god. This looks like we're in like a galaxy. <laughs> wow, is this the closest we're getting to Las Vegas? <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. Oh my god. Like, look at this. Okay, I feel like I'm in a futuristic movie. We miss clubbing. literally like calming and we just like finished clubbing <laughs> this is the next room this is the morning after the club we're grabbing brunch this actually looks like brunch it looks like we're in a drawing book oh my god this is so cute these are all these like neon signs that you would have in your room <laughs> Aww, this is the next room. Oh my gosh. These are like the planets. That's amazing. So this is one of the last rooms and it's not as lit. No, they showed us all the ones first. first. But anyway, we're like unfazed now. <laughs> Just finished. That was so fun because we basically took every like dark room as an opportunity to club because we haven't gone clubbing in so damn long. We were literally in the rooms for like five minutes plus just dancing. Like we weren't they even taking a five minute limit, but we spent three songs <laughs> worth in each yeah. room. <laughs> At least the lit ones. Yes, yeah. The lit ones, yeah. Anyway, highly recommend. It's in Richmond. It's called Moon and Back. Thanks for taking me. You're welcome, baby. Aw. Okay, so we are finally home, and my parents are gonna make some homemade dumplings today. I'm excited. I'm always at Teresa's house for dinner, so this is kind of refreshing. But anyway, I'm gonna try to do Teresa's eyebrows because she doesn't want to continue doing 2016 <laughs> brows anymore. She wants to try the 20 brows upgraded, and Lisa is just the best with the newest beauty oh. techniques, so she needs to upgrade these brows. So we are literally gonna do her brows and if you guys are interested in the method that I am doing, it's already up on my channel. It's literally the exact same method. I'm just gonna do it for Teresa. So make sure you check that out if you wanna see, but she's currently removing her eyebrow yeah. stuff. We're gonna get started. We have some homemade hot and sour soup. Homemade dumplings. Mm. Yum. 